The San Diego Writers Festival is happening this weekend at the Coronado Public Library and performing arts spaces. It is a free event, perfect for writers, readers, and even TV and film lovers. Here to tell us all about it, Director of Communications Anastasia Zadaik, as well as some of the feature authors, Matthew Quirk and Michelle Gable. Good morning to all of you. Good Thanks morning. for being with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks. Exciting stuff going on. First off, I love that all three of you have your new books mm -hmm. that have either just recently come yeah. out or are coming, coming out, out soon. Yeah. But start off by telling us about this event. So the festival start, um, was started in 2019 with three goals and those were to um, bring together all of the literary organizations that already exist here in San Diego. Um, there's so many and many of them did not know about each other. Mm -hmm. So one of the goals was to bring everyone together and build community within San Diego. The second goal was to provide quality program that as you said is free yeah, and accessible that's a to huge everyone. Importance. Exactly. And the third was to kind of put San Diego on the literary map. Yeah. And we're really excited because this year we have 90 events, sorry, 90 speakers, 40 events all in one day. We have something for everyone. Um, we have Ed Zwick coming. He uh, just came out with his memoir, Hits, Flops, and Other Illusions. <laughs> and he is the um, Academy Award and Emmy Award writer, director, and producer of things like Legends of the Fall, The Last Samurai, Shakespeare in Love. So we're really excited to have him. Our theme this year is Words to Uplift, and two of our main speakers are gonna be talking about empathy. So we have uh, Judith Orloff talking about the genius of empathy, okay. and Anita Morjani talking about Sensitive is the New Strong. And you have a new book coming out too I next do month, have right? a new book coming out in May. It's called The Other Side of Nothing, and it's a book about, um, as Kirk has says, it's a stunning story of, about mental illness and its challenges. Okay, so amazing. About. Yeah. Uh, Matt, you people may know you from The Night Agent, what the sixth most watched show on Net, in Netflix history. Yeah, it took uh, off. It was cool to see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell us about um, the book that you've written. Is it related to The Night Agent, or uh, does it have a similar concept? It's a similar concept. It's a standalone. It's called Inside Threat, and um, they both sort of have um, a kind of big hook or something. You mm -hmm. know, for Inside Threat, the president comes under attack at the White House, and they usher him off to this undisclosed location. It's actually a bunker complex, a real life place under a mountain near Camp David. Okay. And they lock him in behind the 30 ton blast doors and everyone breathes a sigh of relief. And then uh, the first body shows up and they figure out they're locked in with the killers. And from there you're sort of off to the races. So it's kind of Die Hard meets Agatha Christie in the presidential bunker. For these types of events, what do you most look forward to? I loved connecting with readers and yeah. asking questions and or answering questions mm -hmm. because you know we spend so much time at our desk just <laughs> writing and then by yourselves yeah. <laughs> and then if you're you know if you're fortunate the book goes out in the world and you get to connect with people and talk to them about it so that's a lot of fun it should uh, be a really fun event yeah. Michelle uh, beautiful people April sixteenth yes. is coming out yep that's that's my latest. But you have, what, six others or seven yep, others? Yeah, this is my seventh book. So, okay, so, so, so I can't always keep track, but yeah. <laughs> tell us about the types of books that you write. Do they all follow a similar structure setup, or tell us about them? My books all tend to be based on real people okay. or real situations from history. So in this case, it's the Jet Set 60s, Palm Beach, um, Slim Aarons, who was a famous photographer of the era, a young assistant. She's a failed debutante. She goes to work for him, but she's really just trying to get a leg into the mm -hmm the Palm Beach community and she meets <laughs> Lily Pulitzer who has a fascinating background of the way that her she started her company it's it's really fascinating that the true story behind that so she meets Lily and thinks that's her avenue in and then she has to start to wonder whether you know the uh, high life is really all it's cracked up to be as someone who works in news and chooses to escape into fiction I love like historical fiction I feel like both of you incorporate like that aspect of learning something about Exactly. something real yes. but it's still you know a fictionalized story I don't have to feel like I'm reading news I like love when somebody <laughs> says yeah I love when somebody says oh my gosh I didn't know about this and I was googling after I read your book mm -hmm. like that to me is a huge yeah. compliment yeah, exactly. I love that um, Anastasia remind us of how people can get involved if they want to come and join you what are the details so the festival will begin at 9 30 on Saturday actually 9 o'clock is the opening with Tycho drummers and spoken word with Gil Sotu one of our local legends and he's our uh, poet in residence for nice. the San Diego Writers Festival. And it goes out throughout the day. 
Um, there's going to be food, there's going to be live music, there's going to be giveaways, and we have something called a tent crawl, which is new this year. So if you go to all of the exhibitors' tents and get a stamp, you're entered into um, a giveaways for books and actually a weekend on Coronado. I love it. So. Uh, all three of you, thank you for being with us this thank morning. You. We appreciate it. Good luck with the event. Thank and you. with all of your upcoming books as well. Thank you so much. A lot so of much. success in your guys' future, as there already is. So appreciate you all being with us. Thank you for having thank us. You.